Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. And today we're going to be making another Miraculous Ladybug custom doll. So over here I have Marinette as Rena Rouge. And today we're going to transform her into my version of the Purple Tigress. So over here is the official Purple Tigress doll. And pretty soon Marinette here is going to look just like her. And to do this custom, I'm going to be using some oil-based paint pens. I don't have the exact colors, but I think we can come pretty close. I have lavender, a brick red, gold, and also a purple. All right, let's get started. So let's take a look at the two dolls. And I think I'm going to start with the gold. So we're going to do the gold, add the magenta and the purple, and then we'll put in the finer details. So we're going to start with the gold. I'm going to add the gold triangles. And it's okay to make some mistakes here because we can paint over it. Now I'm going to paint the middle portion light purple. Alright, so here is what the doll looks like so far. We have the gold and the lavender. I think we need to do one more coat on the lavender, but we're going to do that at the end. Next, let's go ahead and add the burgundy. Alright everyone, so here is our doll so far. We have the purple, the gold, and the red. So now the last portion is to put in some more red inside the gold. For the inside, instead of burgundy, we're going to be using plum. And I'll also be using a paintbrush. Now let's make her accessories. We're going to take some Sugru and make her tail. So Sugru here is a multiple glue and it dries over time. So we have about an hour or so to make our tail. And then once it's dried, it'll be flexible, but it won't be moldable again. Start with this first. And we're going to put it into three pieces and roll them into balls. And then stack the three of them together. Let's take another piece and roll it out into a long rope. Since my doll is still drawing, I'm going to take another Rina Rouge doll and we are going to wrap this tail around her body. So I'm going to make it so that there is a little hook here where the rest of the tail can hang down. We're going to set this up to the side to dry along with these balls. Now taking the rest of the sugru, let's go ahead and make some cat ears. Okay, here are the two ears that we made. Now we're going to build on the mask. So the mask that Purple Tigress wears is bigger than Ladybug or 
between Lucretia's mask, so what we're going to do is extend the mask here and make it bigger. I'm going to start by adding a piece of the sucro to the mask. Here, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry, and once it's cured, we'll cut it. Alright everyone, so we've waited a few hours and the sugru has cured and so as you can see here it's still pretty flexible but it is not moldable anymore. So at this point, now we can finish them. We're going to trim and paint. This is what I really love about sugru because if it was clay, it would probably break into little pieces. Okay, so I think this fits pretty well. Now we can paint. And let's check on this tail here. So we have our tail. And we have this little hook here, which is still flexible, so we can take the belt off. And now all we have to do is glue this set of the balls onto it. Let's go ahead and paint her mask. And we're also going to paint her tail. And of course her ears. Okay, so now we need a few finishing touches here. Let's go ahead and paint her lips purple. And Purple Tigress has orange eyes, so we're going to paint the outside here yellow and the irises orange. Alright everyone, so are you ready for the reveal? Once again, we have our Purple Tigress doll. This is the official doll. And here is my version of Purple Tigress. So this is Marinette as Purple Tigress. So let's take a closer look here. Here is her face. We painted her eyes so they're yellow and orange. Her lips are also repainted. Here is her outfit. So we have the lavender with the gold and purple stripes. Here in the back is burgundy with some purple and gold stripes. Around her waist is her tail. We have the little balls here. And down here are her feet with some cat paw details. Okay, so that's at her accessories. We have a pair of ears set on the headband. So let's put this on her head. And of course, we can't forget the mask. So let's go ahead and put the mask on. Oh my goodness, here she is. She looks so good with the mask on. Look, you can see her yellow and orange eyes. This turned out so, so cool. Let's go ahead and send her up next to our purple tigress here. And take a look. What do you think? I know uh, this color is a little bit different. It's not the muted purple that uh, purple tigress has, but I really still like it. I think it goes well with the burgundy. So this doll was actually quite difficult. It took me a long time to do this doll, mostly because of the details here. So if you look very closely, you'll see that um, the gold lines are not very even. Some parts are thick and some parts are thin. And that's because these markers have a very thick tip. So it's very hard to do very fine lines. The same thing with the plum here. It's just not as good um, if you look at it up close. But from further away, I still think it looks really good. And I really love how the overall doll turned out. I think Purple Tigress approves. Alright everyone, I had so much fun making this custom. I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!